warning if you don't like talking videos this may not be the video for you so just quickly exit out before you start complaining okay bye hey guys welcome back to my channel it's sneaky so for today's video i'm going to be sharing how i transitioned from relaxed to natural before i get started i just want to thank you guys so 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 much for subscribing to my channel and helping me reach 10,000 subscribers and yeah let's just get on with the video start off i just want to say that i actually transitioned three to four times in my journey so yeah don't feel bad if you relapse and go back to relaxing your hair or you feel like you're not ready for the whole natural journey just um do it in your own time because i certainly did it in my own time because it took a lot for me to go back to um relaxing or going to natural hair because whenever I would have a day out or if I had a party to go to or it was my birthday I would always like relax my hair because I felt like um, I wanted my hair to look a certain way I didn't want to have like the curly the curly roots and then the straight ends so yeah I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did so in the for the first few times when I started um, transitioning to natural I actually was text lax in my hair at the time so that was basically me putting on a relaxer on my hair and then I would rinse it out straight away I wouldn't let it um, stay on my head for, for enough to like straighten out my whole head just for it to give me like a wavy kind of texture just so it's more on the natural side but just not completely relaxed and damaging my hair and I was doing that for a couple of months and it actually changed the thickness of my hair. I've had thick hair ever since I was young but I feel like me text laxing, to me text laxing my hair actually helped to thicken my hair strands because they were a lot more stronger and I could do a lot with them. So when I was transitioning what I would do is I, would, I don't really advise this but I was washing my hair like either every day or every other day and my mum would always look at me crazy like why are you washing your hair so much like your hair's gonna dry out it's gonna fall out watch your hair's you're not here your hair's not gonna grow but in my head I was thinking because everyone used to say oh if you um, leave your hair dirty it will grow but they didn't make sense to me because then your the, the pores in your hair will get clogged up so I thought the cleaner my hair is um, the cleaner hair, my hair is, the more my hair will grow. So basically I was washing my hair. I just got some cheap um, conditioner from the pound store. And I was washing my hair with the conditioner. If I remember the conditioner I was using, I put it over here. I wouldn't put shampoo on my um, transitioning hair. Um, because I felt like when as soon as I put because I didn't know nothing about sulfate sham, sulfate free shampoos at the time so as soon as I put that shampoo in my hair the real, the natural hair that I have and the natural hair I have will dry up so much and then it will start breaking and then that's what will make me go back to relaxing my hair again because I'd be like I'm not dealing with my hair like this I don't want to have dry hair and then the, the relaxed hair will be so like silky smooth so um, I also noticed that with my sister, I was transitioning her hair. When, whenever we would put um, shampoos in her hair, her hair would dry out so much and it would just break off. And then she just like, I don't want to go natural. This is not for me. But now she's actually natural because she uses a lot more conditioners into her routine. So yeah, using conditioners is like something that saved me so much. So I would just be co-washing a lot more often right now. Um, with my natural hair I do not co-wash a lot because I feel like because I have um, low porosity hair my hair tends to get um, really greasy really quickly so I like to shampoo my hair once a week or every two weeks but with my transitioning hair the more conditioner the better like my hair needed that moisture um, so yeah that was the th first thing I would just tell you to do is like try and like keep your hair moisturized as possible um yeah i'm just trying to remember everything i did guys it's really hard for me to remember because this was quite some time ago and yeah that was the first thing i did another thing i did when i was transitioning was um i would do braid outs and twist outs and i'll do perm put perm rods at the end of my hair because there was times when i want to go out you want to look nice um 
but your hair is like curly at the root, straight at the ends. And what you really, really, really want to do is like try and match the textures together. So what I would do is braid my hair and then I'll get the little perm rods and I'll put it at the end. And then the next day or two days after, because my hair takes long to dry, I would take them out and I'll pick it. And it would just look like I've already got natural hair, but I actually don't. So yeah, that's another thing that I did. And so what I also did was keep up with my trims. I would trim my hair because I really didn't want a big chop. I've never had short hair in my whole entire life. So I was just thinking, okay, so I'm, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to trim my hair every, like, every month or every two months just to try and, like, um, not feel so in shock when my hair is short. So just yeah that's what I did I just trim my hair like every month or every other month and yeah that's kind of what helped me and helped me get rid of a lot of the relaxed ends so now I'm gonna tell you this is like my fourth time or third time or whatever I can't remember I actually went back to relax so I, I relaxed my hair again I relaxed my hair again because what I wanted I wanted to get a pixie cut I'll show you a picture um but this pixie cut, I kept it in for like two months and I only relaxed my hair one time and I decided, yeah, I'm finally going to go natural because my hair's short now. I don't have anything to be afraid of. Like this, at this time, I was actually in a different stage of my life where I was thinking um, I didn't need to be beautiful with long hair. So I just had short hair and... You know, I didn't really care that much. So what I was doing at the time is, um, what did I do? Oh yeah, I would go and get my hair um, corn road or cane road, whatever, and um, with extensions. I'll now leave that in for two to three months, and I'll show pictures because if you guys look at my Instagram feed from like back in 2014. Um, you'll see that I actually kept cornrows in my hair a lot and that's what helped me grow my hair to basically its maximum potential like within a couple months so I would cornrow my hair and then I'll take it out and then I'll cornrow it and then take it out so within that whenever I would take it out I'll make sure I shampoo my hair I condition my hair and then I also bought this deep conditioner I'm going to leave it over here and in the description box i really re recommend that deep conditioner it might not have the best ingredients but it worked like magic like literally this um deep conditioner it was like this like it was like crack for my my hair was addicted to it it loved it so much it was like a egg protein kind of mask thing and then i would mix like olive oil and honey i was just like doing my own little diy um things with it i'll just like mix it up i leave that in my hair for like two hours with heat and i'll just blow dry my hair with it and yeah that deep conditioner helped me so much in my journey so yeah i really do recommend it and i would trim my hair a lot and then I'll take it out. I'll take pro I'll take progress pics to see if my hair is actually growing. So from the pixie cut, my hair actually grew into a bob. And then I was just basically just doing protective styles for like six months, I think. Yeah, six months. And then I actually did faux locks on my hair. I did them by myself and I was actually really proud of them. I didn't make them small. I made them really chunky. And then, and then I saw my hair and I was just like, I actually don't want to deal with this transitioning mess anymore. And um, then I just decided to cut all my hair off. And yeah, I do want to tell you guys, during this transitioning period, I was straightening my hair, which I really, really do not advise you do. Because um, when I did cut off my transitioning hair, um, I noticed that, the front of my hair is a looser curl pattern. I thought, this is heat damage. What the fuck have I done? I've actually messed up my hair so much. So I cut the front pieces of my hair so short. And then basically now my hair's grown out into this like really weird shape. But I didn't realise that it's actually my 
text the natural texture of my hair my te natural texture of my hair has always been really loose and a wavy texture and i didn't know that so um, i just thought my hair would be kinky throughout i didn't know that you could have like different types of textures in your hair because like the front of my hair is very loose the curl pattern is like almost non-existent but it's just really wavy and the, the back of my hair is like very coily um so i don't know yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys so just so you can um not feel like discouraged i went through a lot with my natural hair journey i'm also going to have a video the next video i'm going to make right now is going to be how to have a successful transitioning journey so yeah guys i hope you like the video don't forget to um subscribe if you want to subscribe and yeah um i'm gonna have a natural hair journey coming up in a few few is quite embarrassing but yeah i hope you guys like it bye